Back to the trim, guys. We're my co-host Lisa and uh, our host Fat Fat. Hey! And as you can see, we got the chair here because that means we're someone's gonna magically appear now. Uh, somebody's gonna come in and we're gonna interview somebody, a friend of ours. And our uh, live audience. Lisa's actually Lisa put me on to him. So you want to introduce him? <clears throat> Mr. Caius. So. Mr. Caius. Mr. Caius. Mr. Caius. I never pronounced <laughs> it like that. All right, but uh, that's also kind of Let's bring the gentleman in. Even though he's like, this is a photo away from me. He's like, hey, introduce him. I'm like, hey. Oh, What's up? He's here. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, Lisa played. She played. Oh, I'm sorry. What up? What up, baby? How was good? She played him. Hey, are we? Um, so. We, we we go right there like perfect thank you appreciate you my brother for staying the extra long shit um hello sir how are you i'm good how you doing pretty good uh i've known makaris for a little bit now not too long like i want to say what a year <clears throat> probably yeah i know makaris a year damn all right um time has flown, flown by it it has it's also Makai's comes out here pretty often, so it doesn't ever feel like he's too far from being here. That's true. He's definitely out here frequently. I want to say that. Are you are you having a good time right now? A little nervous there, buddy? Huh? Hell yeah. I see you. It's my first time on camera. On camera? Nah, I can't be on camera. Just on the show. You on the show. First on yeah, the it's show. definitely not your first time first, in front of a camera. Uh, though. Yeah, because you always. Event. Awesome. There's like there's like highlights of Makai's on his like football days. Yeah. I've never seen that. You could Google Makai's. A word? It's like that. This nigga's like Google. Google me. Hey, so what do you do? Prop? I mean, hey, what do you do, man? Uh, I'm a barber and a braider. Okay. I'll be cutting hair for fun. But you're an artist, really. And I'm an artist. For fun. For fun. It's. I don't know. I think. Hey, it's you fun. gotta pay bills too. You know. You feel me? It's Shit. It's we make money in a fun way. Yeah, that's true. But bills, you know, I, I would love to be able to cut hair for free. Trust me. But if I ain't have Trust no bills. Trust me, it's like his favorite thing. If I ain't have no bills, you know. But um, what's going on with you right now? Anything going on with you? Like, man, I'm, shoot, I'm just out here right now. Just yeah. chilling. Yeah. Enjoying Getting yourself. Ready for Basel. Coming up. What's the difference you see here, like, between here and... Um, the Bay, I mean, not the Bay, Oakland and shit. That is the Bay. Oh, okay. whatever. Hey, the, clearly uh, you can see, I don't know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, but you continue. The energy's hella different out here compared to like the Bay. It's, like out here, people are more intense, I'd have to say, for sure. Okay. More intense. In what sense? Just the energy. Mm -hmm. I would have to say with We enunciate the every letter and yeah. every word we say. And y'all be talking, y'all be saying like. Y'all be like, yeah, what up, bro? Every word, you guys be putting me on the words that I ain't never heard before. Like? Brolic. <laughs> Brolic. <laughs> Yo, this is favorite New York Brolic. word. Brolic. Brolic. She didn't, sh you, show, you show me that. <laughs> But what made you like? What, so why was the, the word brolic though? Cause she she was lining my beard up one time and she was like, oh, "Yo, she look mad brolic." Yo, sh yeah, she's like, oh, <laughs> "Mad brolic." I was like, "Brolic." Uh, what are you fuck talking does about? That shit mean? What? That's hilarious. What was you that? guys? You guys say weird shit too. I was asking you something earlier. What? Um, what was it? The the pimp talk? Oh, a flogger. Uh, damn, what the fuck? Uh, flopper or some shit like that or? Blue Flamin? Is Blue uh, Flamin. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What we, 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 we were talking about something. Yeah, we, we were watching the video you. and I was like, yo, what the fuck does this mean? He's a, I'm a Flim Flammer or some shit like that. Or, oh, or, Flu Flammer? It's just... Is that what it is? Yeah, that's... that's no, I don't think that's, that's what that's. What, what does that word mean? It's like... No, I'm not sure if that's, a, that's the actual But he's saying it word. like it's an, a word, so if it is a word, what Oh, like the Draco the Ruler song? It was like fresh about the slam. I'm a flu flammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, like it's basically somebody like from what I know. It's basically somebody that be running in the houses and what getting you shit. You call here like a stick up kid or you know. What I'm so yeah. they go into your house and they rob you. A flu flammer, you are. Don't be a flu flammer. I know. 
Oh, don't get flu flammed. I feel like that's some like old school New York shit. I don't know. I would, I would say Google it too, cause you know Google will give you. I feel like it's a lot harder to break the street it. definition. Really? Does it? Well, I, it's just not as common. Google, he said. I said Google. Flu flammer. Flu flammer. How do you spell it's that? It's gonna come up in the F-L-U- Urban Dictionary. U F L A M M I N. Flu flammer. Oh my God, you looked it up. Hey, don't flu flam. Nah, but no, cause it's a song by Draco the Ruler. Space. Hey, you got your whole thing going on with the brand and everything, with the Makai's brand, and just like yeah, for sure. You definitely got a, a unique way of looking at the the brand, the way you brand yourself. Yeah, basically, I just try to approach like what I'm trying to do is as as if like somebody were seeing it from the outside looking in. Like, so I try to change the perspective of how people see. Um, like barbering, you know, because yeah. it's more than just a haircut, it's more than just braids. Yeah, facts. This is why we're doing this too. I mean, everybody do some different shit. Like, yeah, like I'll be it's braiding. It's about cutting hair. Like, so, we what, cut hair, <clears throat> what got you into braiding? Like, what was the thing that made you be, decide, like, I'm gonna try braids? Um, honestly, I'll say, like, when I was in school, I learned how to braid because I've been cutting hair since I was 13. Oh, shit. Yeah, I started hella early. And then when I was in school, I was like, yo, I'm trying to learn how to braid because cause I was in school full time. Also, oh, good thing you could braid women's hair yeah. too. All of his male cousins have long hair. Oh, yeah, hair. yeah. And all my, like, all my family, they got hair like Oh, yeah, we forgot hair. to mention, he's from... Oakland. Tonga! Tonga. Yeah, I think it's in uh, Oakland. Like, we know that, but Tonga. I mean, I got Tongan was. blood. First Tongan in this So what is A lot of people watching exactly. this are probably hearing this country for the very first time. Yeah, well, matter of fact, let's talk about that real quick. What is Tongan real quick? It's a, uh, Where is it? It's a small island in, in the South Pacific by Fiji, South Polynesian. Moore. Yeah. Okay. Um... How is it over there? Like, just fill me in a little bit on like. Honestly, I can't even speak too much about it. I haven't even been there yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. But I thought they were gonna brothers. come on and be like, "Yo, shout you know." My, shout out to my two brothers. They this on the is way like out a there right now. Secret shit, like, like on some fucking Wakanda shit. Well, it like it's a it's a country that not a lot of people know about. I feel like you know those, but honestly, they are a very strong. Supported. Yeah, for sure. Like, your strong culture. Yeah, they're strong. For so that's not related with Moana, culture. right? No, Moana. Okay. Man. Hey, the nigga look Mo- just hey, like. First of all, first of all, Moana that. is also probably like a bunch Moana, of different. Ones Moana is lit though. So. Yeah, so Moana is a basically just Moana's all like of the, the all of the it's all of the cultures kind of in one capsule of what yeah, they're not Polynesian culture is. I, culture. You know, okay. it's not targeting one culture. I learned something new just yeah, now. You just, hey. That's kind of like the Caribbean. The whole Caribbean is not the same, but there's like that Caribbean thing. So Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah. Caribbean is like, mm-hmm. what? Uh, it, like Hawaiian Polynesian Tongan, is what basically is like, you know how like, there's Africans, but there's somebody who's from like Nigeria. Or there's Egypt. someone from yeah Egypt. Yeah. Mm. There, you know, it's 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 like the the overall saying of, of who you like of our culture. Oh, you know. Okay. Cool. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. What's up? Oh, and they're all football players too. So you just got hell yeah. Or the Rock. Mm-hmm. Let's not get too into it. <laughs> I was gonna bring up a sister, but I'm gonna do that. Um, so earlier we were talking about, let's get into that right now. We were talking about, um, from being a, a pot smoker to growing weed and shit. You're from Oakland, so shit is way different for you. Than yeah. Being for out sure. here in New York. How do you feel about, you know, people going from, you know, you first start smoking weed and then you start learning more about it and you get to a point where now you can grow your own shit. Especially with the fact that it's legal for you guys up there and you know, you can actually grow it. I think like with the new age that's coming along with the whole weed industry, people are like, I feel like what you were saying earlier with branding, like, but out there, they take it to a whole new level. They, you know, they, they really, really take it from like the genetics, they brand the genetics, they brand the growers, they brand the, the, the packaging. Mm-hmm. The packaging people that yeah, that's you know, like definitely gotta work. Everything in the your... industry right now is being branded like two thousand times. Your more product market has gotta be up you know, there. Hard because... You know what? Also, it was legal way longer. Yeah, since the in 90s. California than any other city. So 
other cities as they're like getting introduced to legal smoking and legal growing and being able to talk about it and you know like we're gonna test all different we're gonna models. have to slowly grow but is, if we just easily look at where california is at or colorado at this point then we can just kind of skip straight to that yeah and straight to the like branding the genetics and all this other stuff point is is that we don't really have the like environment to grow it yeah. we're gonna have to grow it like in yeah it's definitely gonna be I would a different say, setting because we don't I have like the whole like sunshine and everything yeah like, we don't have right good now. weather good soil we don't but we i mean that's why you also got hydroponics that. too that you've grown everything indoors so you don't even essentially need good weather you just need a good location i mean and it, for the fest not to come fucking knock it, your mm-hmm. door down and shit like well yeah there's a little more to it i feel like just a little bit okay Okay. It's a part of the game. Just a little bit right there, you know. Just, like, <laughs> just a little friend right there. Little, just a little bit. Me, I'm a little buddy, me? real quick, like. <laughs> oh, so fucking. Yeah, it's the little things that count when it comes to weed. Oh, because so, you damn, what the fuck is his name again? Um, the nigga with the palette that that um he's got the afro and he paints. Oh, uh. Don't Bob, get at me like Bob that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not Bob saying Rod, that. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> The way you said it, you was like, just, you know, just a little bit yeah, like this. Just put a little bit of, just a little, a little I mean, sauce little. on there, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet. So you were, well, you, what were your topics, please, that you were talking about? So we also spoke about, like, cultural influences, how it's becoming, like, well, specifically in music. Like, so this is what's interesting about, like, East Coast, or I want to say New York, so to say, versus, like, where you're from, the music is very different. You know, like we're very aggressive, all Hella this other different. stuff. We're more mainstream as well. Like our underground is like We're definitely like we wanna be on top of the new shit all the time. Like, it's more mainstream. But the thing is is like in Oakland, like you can listen to the the radio in a car and they're playing local artists. Yeah. The whole time. Okay. Yeah. I've like, never been there, so I can't really. Yeah, so agree. it's like they support each other's hip hop movement or music movement so hard just in their own little area, like yeah it's crazy like there's a whole lot of i feel like there's a whole lot of people within the industry that's good that's that's a good support like the bay area music scene right now i feel like is is there's levels to it you know and within each level i feel like there's a lot of respect between the levels like you know you'll never hear somebody talk bad about too short or mac J. okay because that like, foundation was set there already. Yeah, or respect, E-40, man. like nobody's going to say You know what, like, what is also, I'm, I'm not saying that like obviously there's like great artists that come out of Oakland and shit like that, but it almost seems like the culture is like shelter. Like like if you from this neighborhood, you kind of just like rock within it and kind of stay within it and support within it. But then it's like, it's kind of hard for outside influences to come in, right? So like, what do you feel like the, the music there? Do you feel like it's evolving? Do you feel like they're, they're getting influences from other places or is it always just the same like beat, song, talk, just said different? No, nah, cause I definitely say within Oakland, like they got the, we got the, we, you know, there's their own sound. You go to like yeah, San Francisco, no, they, you know, you, you leave, right, once you leave outside of Oakland, like the, the sounds that people generate, like. Or even the East Bay in general, I would say the East Bay in general just be having, you know, sounds that like a lot of people have been messing with for a real long time, like all the way from, uh, you know, like North Bay down all the way to the East Bay. There's been some fire ass artists who come out and put out some like, you know, good sounds and shit. Okay. All right, so for example, like you, um, like the Drake and Bad Bunny song, the whole like cultural influence that that's happening. Do you see anything like that happening in Oakland or? Definitely. I feel like it. With who? It's not. It's more of like, not, it's not like culture. It's not American to, to what's Bad Bunny? Spanish. Like, Spanish, like Spanish music. It's like not international, but right now it's Oakland and Detroit. I mean, it's always, it's been Oakland and Detroit for a long time. Like going way back to like, too short. You hear too short talk about Detroit and Oakland's like being like tight like that. But like just recently, there's been a huge push with like the Oakland rappers and the, the Detroit rappers all kind of coming together and just making like crazy ass. Music yeah, making lately. new sounds. New sounds, new new like ways to 
Like they're generating like so different, different, different. Like the way they're, they're even the way they're rapping, they're changing the the, the beat with their voice. Like they'll switch up twice. Oh, I have a question. Go so ahead. like when I went to Atlanta, when like, well, obviously trap music's been on for like a good little while now, and like there, like they play like Gucci Man all day and like all these like Atlanta yeah. artists and shit like that. Do you get any of that hip hop influence where you're at? Yeah, I, I, I feel like we're still in tune with everything that goes on, but like niggas in the Bay will support niggas in the Bay like all day because it's, you know, everybody kind of- Support system, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like everybody kind of understands that, you know, everybody's trying to get up, everybody's trying to like grow, but the only way to grow is you, you feel me, you work with each other, like- Yeah, facts. You got to think of it, like you all coming up in the One same- One hand washes the other, you feel me? You feel me? How how, how, how am I how am I gonna sit here with you? You, me have a full plate of food and you sitting right here like you hella hungry. Like how am I not gonna break you off some? And yeah, you facts, right here facts, 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 facts. grinding with me every single day and facts. you got an empty plate. Like, no, that's fucked up yeah, to so me. It definitely helps grow more of a, like, a positive like energy in the setting and shit. So you yeah. definitely wanna go with that. Cause it's like, if you, if you spend day in and day out with somebody, you can't say that you got your success on your own or you, you, you came up on your own, especially at, like with the, with the Bay too, like with the music, it's like, you didn't get famous because the whole world made you famous. The Bay put you on first, mm -hmm. and then everybody seen you. Yeah, so that's what you were saying about and you know like, hometown like artists and shit getting yeah. played on the radio. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For you sure. gotta go through that. Yeah, <clears throat> that's lit. That's it's dope. cool though because like if you character. if you hit like you the man like right now like there's some crazy ass rappers right now. Shout out to All Black. One of my favorite rappers, Sada Baby, he from Detroit, FNB Daisy from B Detroit. But like Oakland got, you know, Filthy Rich, D Love, okay. Cookie Money. Like, I'm trying to think who else in my playlist right now. A whole bunch of people we do not know. A whole bunch of people. Yeah, I don't know. know. It's it's dope. Nobody, it's dope because hey, y'all like, know y'all. You feel me? But neighborhood superheroes. But it's like when, when when we hear when we see them, it's like we got a lot of respect for them because we follow them on Instagram. You see them posting on YouTube. You see them posting on Twitter. Yeah, you know, yeah. out in public. You see them out in the community. Like I'll catch these these niggas all over the place. Like oh shoot, there's all black right there. Like he messed with all my family. You know, like like. So do you feel like that kind of support system? I went to barber school with his best friend, like Ty, little time. I went to barber school. Hey, uh, Thomas. <laughs> Is this still recording? So, um, ask one more question, then we just gonna switch it up some bit. So, um, <clears throat> do you think that the, the that whole like support system that you guys show each other is the reason why people been able to support you being a male braider? Yeah, I think it's. I, I, that's a good ass question. I, I believe it that that's the way it is because. I feel like what I'm doing within the industry is something different. It's I'm one of the only male braiders in that I know of, you know, except for my, my other partner that I work with at the shop, Taj. Like male braiders in the Bay, like there's not that many. There's not that many in California, period. Even, I mean, even, I don't know many in New York either. Yeah, you were the 